Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. So today we will create our sofa building to the final stage. So let's check what we have done at the last last tutorial. Uh, we have already finished with our mess of our mess of our building. As you can see, we have two our buildings here already, but we still don't have this bridge. So how we can create this bridge and uh, some way to create of this bridge, I will show you today. Let's get started. And the first thing what I will do, first I'll delete this uh, copy of the my mess, I no need it. And after that I will uh, delete all the my floors because I no need it on the, this stage. So how you can do that? Just uncheck all these boxes, like this, that's it. Now I don't have any floors. So let's go inside this mess in place and let's create some changes. I will go first to the top of view and after that now I will copy this my building because uh, I want to make it uh, uh, joinable first and I want to make it in one mess model. Uh, okay, so the first thing uh, I will check my levels. Let's check my levels. As you can see now my model now on, uh, placing on the not correct level. As you can see my level 1 is here, but building is going so deep. So uh, let's go and let's change the location. Now everything ok. So let's go back to the top of view. I mean top of on the 3D, not on uh, floor plan. And now what I will do, I will choose some, uh, for example, these lines. But before we will uh, make, let's make, where is my annotate lines? I want some annotate lines. Okay, I can find, I, ah, here, this is my reference line. And I will create just one reference line here. Okay, now everything, uh, everything should be done faster. And just uh, we will use the arc start and end. And let's use, for example, from this part, let's say, for example, from this part to that part. And let's make curve like this. Now I will just use this line and mirror it by this line. Okay, good. Let's uh, select both of this line and let's check which point we are using reference point. So I don't know which is level, which is that level. We will change to the level 11. And uh, let's create one more line here and here. So uh, on this stage we don't need this reference line anymore. We already have uh, our mm, our shape of these lines. Let's check. This is level. Mm, this is level. You can you can see this reference level. No, it's not right. Let's change to the level uh, eleven and eleven here. Okay, now let's change the view to perspective, and we can see we created our form. Uh, like this. Okay, so uh, actually under this way, if you no need more detail, you can already uh, finish your your modeling. So uh, we have two ways. We can leave it as it is, or we can make some uh, modified changes. I will show you both of ways. Uh, the first way, we can just select this profile. Just uh, we will extrude it, create form like this. And after that, we will use the join ge geometry and join all this geometry. So this calls the uh, first uh, first way of this type of building. Let's leave uh, anyway. Uh, okay, I will leave this building and I will copy the one more, and I will show you what difference if we will use the second way. And I will hide it for now, just like this. I cannot hide it, right? Yeah, I can. So uh, let's modify it more realistic uh, um, to our model. First, I want a bit extruded, uh, a bit a bit outside from the our our building uh, buildings. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, going here from uh, a bit outside. So uh, let's do it a bit like this, just a bit more. Okay, this is more more than enough. And I'll do here the same way, but you already understand the point. It's pretty, pretty same. Okay, so it doesn't matter now. I just want to show you the some uh, something how to create, for example, here the curve, or for example, if uh, you're doing the some other projects and you don't know how to create a uh, more complex model. So uh, actually, you so, so you should finish your model. Now I'm finished my mess, and now we will go to the architecture component 
and we will find here model in place. Let's find here the model in place and let's uh, choose, for example, generic model. Because if you will use generic model, we have much, much more the tools, as you can see, for creating the forms. Right now, I need the sweep. So let's use the sweep. Let's choose the path, this one path. And let's say, for example, OK, and now we will create edit profile. I will go to the front view uh, and let's create uh, our profile. I will do, for example, like this, like this. It, now it's the same. Uh, let's try here, for example, this angle. Now you can see, right, uh, what I'm doing. Uh, OK, and OK. Let's see on the 3D. Yeah, it should be OK. And let's switch. Ah, no, we will leave like this and we will say OK. We will say again OK and we get the path like this. So what we're going to do now? Now we will cut. Uh, after I finish model, use the cut mode and cut this one and this one. Just a few seconds. Let's hide this one. And as you can see, we get our profile a bit curved. So uh, by this way, you can now uh, create any object. For example, you can use the wall and pick the face. Let's say I'll change the to the constant colors and you can see uh, now it's curved wall around this this radius. Uh, we have so much ways, uh, really a lot of ways to create some uh, kind of uh, form in Revit. In the next movie, I'll show you how you can use Dynama to create, for example, uh, one 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 of the really nice house. So uh, you can use, for example, Dynama. Actually, you can use the uh, Rhino and you can import uh, from the Rhino your model here. And after that, just apply some uh, walls, um, floors and whatever you want. If you want to see how to uh, create some form in Rhino and import to the Revit, just uh, leave the comment give me some likes and I will do as uh, soon as as, as it possible. Okay, but right now it's uh, finished. You understand now how to create a kind of this form. Uh, like a bonus, uh, I will do this one more thing. I will create the floors and I'll show you you can do this these things uh, by floors too. So, uh, for example, here are my models. Uh, let's I'll copy it again mm, no, because I don't want to destroy it. Uh, here I have the model. I will copy it again. This is a bonus content for you guys. Not actually my, my content for you guys. It's free. You know it uh, like this, like this and like this, like this. OK, and let's go to the finish. Actually, I should do this model separate, but OK, it doesn't matter. I want to show you the just just few things. OK, here is my model, you know, if we creating in one model, we get it like one model. Anyway, uh, let's create the floors uh, to the last one. Let's say OK, let's say OK. Now we will get floors everywhere, but uh, we are mentioned only on this uh, only on this model. Uh, it will take time, so uh, give me a few seconds. So uh, it's already finished. As you can see now, we have floors everywhere, but uh, we are mentioned only this one. And you can see also we have floors inside this building too. Uh, so guys, uh, of course, you can create floors like this. Just mess, in, mess inside, create the floors. And as you can see, we can create floor here. Actually, let's create here everywhere like this. And create floors. Because it's one model, I have creating everywhere my floors, as you can see. So here is our floors. We can go now to the mansion, messing inside and switch off our model. And as you can see, we get our shape and now it's more looks like uh, Soho. But we have like, uh, um, how it's called, like bonus content, I said, we can change the boundary. So we are, it doesn't matter now about our shape of the messing. We can change here the boundary as we want. So that's why I said he, Revit have really a lot of way to change your geometry at all. For example, I want to create something here like this. And maybe no, maybe we will use, for example, this fillet arc radius and let's write radius like five meter five meter enter 
and let's do the we cannot do because this is reduced already anyway i will delete this line and i'll say i want make it spline why not let's make it spline for example like this like this and maybe even like this and let's make it with my dots i cannot see uh -huh, here okay as you can see we did it uh, with the spline now uh, just make some changes so let's say okay and you can see now our floor is also changed too uh, now we have a bit different floor as we have here for example or here so guys as you can see uh, a lot of ways a lot of choices you have in Revit use one of that what you want uh, for example, you can use the first one or the second way or maybe third way what I showed you right now. I think that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching and see you soon. And that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe my social media, leave some comments for this video and give some like and see you next time.